Hello, everyone, and welcome to Channel 781 Headlines. This week, the city announced a public input session for next Thursday evening, the 30th, to discuss whether to close Moody Street to cars again this summer. There was recently another meeting on this subject, but this one is being held by the Traffic Commission, which will need to make a decision about two proposals. Mayor McCarthy has proposed not closing the street, but making it a one way for a portion of the week. Councillor Paz proposed closing the street to cars completely as in past years, but for a shorter four month period. The meeting will take place at 6 p.m. on the 30th at 119 School Street. So if that is an issue that's important to you, be sure to attend. We mentioned last week there's an opening on Waltham Zoning Board of Appeals, and now it looks like it may already be filled. According to the e-docket for the City Council meeting this coming Monday, Mayor McCarthy will be asking the Council to approve Stephen Taranto for that position. Mr. Taranto is a former Waltham police officer who is now the Director of Public Safety at Boston University and a police trainer. If approved by the Council, Taranto will become a permanent member of the ZBA. Also, according to that e-docket, Mayor McCarthy will be asking the council to transfer care and control of the Fitch School property to the Recreation Department. The Fitch is the old school building on Moody Street that has been vacant for several years and different uses have been discussed. Healthy Waltham currently uses it for food pantries, but you may remember they were told they needed to be out by the end of this month. It wasn't clear what the city had in mind for the property, but this move suggests it will be turned into a park or other recreational facility. This past Tuesday, the Waltham Community Leadership Group held its first housing summit. The event included presentations by community leaders and activists, many of whom are currently or formerly homeless. I'm happy to say you can find a video of that summit on our YouTube page, thanks to our team member, Chris Hammer. City Councilor Colleen Bradley MacArthur announced this week that she'll be having a fundraiser next Wednesday the 29th at 6 p.m. at Jake and Joe's. That confirms that she's definitely running for re-election to her at-large seat this year. So far, she and Mayor McCarthy are the only elected officials we know of who have officially confirmed they're running for re-election. Bradley MacArthur is in her first term on the council after beating out long-serving incumbent Paul Brasco for that seat in 2021. This week, our friends at the Brandeis Justice newspaper published an article about rat poison and the bald eagles and other wildlife that have been killed by it. So check that out. On our YouTube, you can also find a clip of a statement the chair of Waltham's Conservation Commission recently made about this issue. This evening, Friday, the Waltham Gender Justice Group will be holding a puzzle night as a fundraiser for the group Tides for Reproductive Freedom. That will take place at Craft Food Hall starting at 5.30, so check it out if you can. This month's critical mass group bike ride will take place this Sunday, the 26th, in North Waltham starting at Pitsy Farm at 1 p.m., and anyone is welcome to join. Our debrief show is taking a break this week, but we'll be back next week with more news for you. Thanks very much for watching.